Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Brandon Dejale and I'm excited to announce this is going to be my first vlog of mini. Yeah, this is the start to my New York City vlog. I'm going to force myself to film the entire thing on this GoPro. We're going to see how that works. I thought getting a bus would be so much less of a headache. You know, especially in a city, you're always worried about someone breaking into it or like where to park it. And like, for example, the first three weeks I spent with this after the tour, I got like five or six hundred dollars from the parking tickets. By the way, if you guys haven't already, make sure you go check out this playlist. I'm gonna link it right up here. It's called Beyond the Board. It's for our Beyond the Board tour. Basically, we spent six weeks traveling around uh, the West Coast in this bus. Dude, good to oh, see, good you. To see you too, man. Oh, how are you doing? Good. Good morning. I just found some new sunglasses. Going to the airport with my dude, Antonio. He's out. Just showed up here, uh, Los Angeles airport. Gonna be boarding my flight here soon. One thing that I always do on these flights is I bring my board. And I'm only bringing one board. I just carry it on the plane. Basically, people ask me how to do this all the time. And as long as you're a nice person, and you can get your board to the airplane, there's always space for it. You just gotta sneak it past the check-in lady because if the check-in lady sees you roll up with a 46 inch board, they're gonna be like, no, dude, put that away. Got all our goods, all the boards. Andreas, what are you most stoked for for the weekend? Dude, I can't wait for this Broadway bomb, man. It's been years since I've been. When was the last year you've been, you think? Oh, what? Okay. oh man. 2014? 15? 2014. Yeah. yeah, it's been a minute. Ninja, what about you? What are you uh, most excited for for the weekend? What do you think? I really, I have like, it really gets me off to just like go on the streets and just go completely wild. So to go <laughs> wild. Woo! <laughs> Let's see, kick flip it, kick flip it, kick flip it. Ah, what's your <clears throat> technique on getting your board on the plane? Actually, I used your advice once that uh, they told me to put it in the pilot's closet. <laughs> it works like a... Yeah, you think we're gonna fit all these boards in the pilot's closet? We got, we got a lot of boards. I know. The, lady, the lady's like, hey, do you, have a, do you have a tag for your skateboard? I'm like, no. They told me to put it in the coat closet. And it works every time. Um, hey, the check-in lady said I should put this in the coat closet. You'll have plenty of room on top. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah? Space, yeah, awesome. they're long and tall. Oh, uh, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. We don't even need to use the coat closet. This is easy. Plane. We're here in uh, Newark, New Jersey. I spent most of the flight judging a lot of the Sohican Longboard Dance entries. And what I can say is that a lot of them look pretty similar, to be honest. And the ones that stand out though, specifically, if I had to boil it down to a couple points, the people that go a little bit faster, the people that have diversity, and it's the people that have like their own unique combos. What I see a lot is like cross step, cross step, trick, push. Cross step, cross step, trick, push. And it's the people that are like putting together these two and these three trick combos that are really standing out. So something to think next time you guys are out putting together your lines or entering some sort of video contest like so you can longboard dance. Think about that and think about like rehearsing these couple of unique moves and play into your strengths. My dude Remy, he's going to be picking us up here. We met him at uh, the last stop of Beyond the Board. Andreas and Ninja met him. Yeah. Yeah. So now I, we're in his neck of the woods. I know. It's cool. Yeah. Oh shit. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There I go. <laughs> oh snap! He's right here, bro. Is this you? Oh, oh damn, damn, bro. Brother. Oh fucking a! Look at the sub in this wow, thing. Nice. Damn, bro. Damn. It's like a fucking spike going up, yeah. dude. I hope I was high enough to get over. Yeah, it. well, I mean, you hit it for sure, bro. No, I know, I don't. Yeah. No, we're good. Looks like it just. We we'll ripped this, there. which is okay. Yeah, but. We're going north. We're going north. We're heading north. Get Andreas. We're going to go to the rescue. We're going to get that fucking piece of thing out of the road. Two people got fucked up because of this thing. I see it. Oh, this dude. No, look at this dude. Oh, oh, 
yeah. That's why I got him. Look at that. Well, the one dude, his, his radiator's blown up. The two cars Man. knocked it out. Yeah. Hazardous material in the highway. They're like, can you please tell me your intersection? I was like, the mile marker. I was like, ah, ah, I don't know. I think someone's getting it. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you so much, Remy. Save the day. What an Save adventure, the day, bro. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> Catch you tomorrow, bro. Take care, bro. Thank you so much, Remy. Thanks, brother. Bro. Oh, let's go. Oh, bro. I'm stranded. What? Oh, yeah. hey, what's up? Brandon? Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Yo, that is an epic view, actually. Right? Damn.